Hey Libra, welcome to your July 2020 Who's My Future Partner reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back. For those of you that are new, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Would love for you guys to subscribe. Um, I do uh, weekly Q&A tarot sessions live on YouTube every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. For those of you that might be interested, definitely hit the subscribe and the bell icon so you're notified when I do go live. I do, um, sometimes I switch up the time. Um, I might go earlier, I might go later, so definitely um, hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified, okay, when I do go live, and you can hop on if you want. Um, also, I focus on my subscribers when I meditate and shuffle, so the readings will resonate uh, for my subscribers. Okay, Whew. Libra. With that being said, stick around towards the end. I will clarify the reading and pull your romance angel card. Okay, Six of Cups, your overall energy for the reading. This is soulmate energy. Um, this could be a past opportunity to come back around again. We are still in retro season. Uh, six planets, but by the end of July, we will be moving forward. This could simply mean as well uh, that you're healing old wounds, that you're looking for closure, that you are moving on um, in your life, right? And maybe you're getting together with people from the past, your friends, your family. Uh, but you're working through the past, so you're shifting, changing, and growing. Yeah, you got the Six of Swords here. It's like you're moving on from the past. Um, and you're healing, because you also have the Queen of Cups here, too, which is releasing, letting go of what's been holding you back. You're receiving messages from the universe. You're listening to your own intuition. You're following your heart, which is good. Okay, so who is this future partner? What are they like? What are they like? You got the Seven of Wands. Hmm. This is somebody that's very fiery, um, somebody that won't back down. Um, they are, it's a seven, so they're reviewing and assessing um, where they are in their lives. Maybe they're feeling challenged to grow. They could be defensive. Hmm. Um, it's like they want to stand up for what they want, but they're also fighting off negative energy and people around them, right? Um they're trying to find the conviction to move forward. Um, so things could work out. But well, why is this person hostile? This could be somebody that you've known, okay? And they want to come back into your lives. I have to just be really honest with you, okay? Um, let's see if this does corroborate um, somebody new as well. Um, moving on, though. Okay, so... Your first impression of them is the Ten of Coins, which is, you know, really promising. This is an energy of being in it for the long haul, commitment, family, financial security, legacy. That's why I think maybe you've known each other before um, because you see this person as comfort. Um, yeah, you got the devil as your obstacle. So there could be something dysfunctional about your relationship. Um, this is being uh, having attachments to codependent relationships, maybe dealing with the shadow self. Maybe you need to admit to yourself um, what your truth is, what your values are, what you want moving forward. Because sometimes the devil can indicate like you've given up what you really want for convenience, right? So restrictions, blockages need to be overcome here. Now the devil is... Capricorn, you could be dealing with Capricorn. This could also indicate that you're dealing with this stellium of planets moving back into Capricorn, and we all have been kind of, mm, um, I don't know what house these eclipses or this last one is happening for you, Libra. I didn't check my um, astrology here, but you could be dealing with just a lot of heavy energy, a lot of stuff coming back around again. Um, not uncommon to see, but there's also a fear of maybe you speaking your truth. It's like you have this comfort, but are you really happy? So it's like you're really assessing um, and maybe feeling very nostalgic in the month of July, you know? Um, it's like you want to move forward, but you're also feeling uh, you're th all these memories are bubbling up, okay? Um, what kind of relationship would this be? You have the Page of Swords. So this, this is a pessimistic energy. This is the need to communicate. Mm. Um, yeah, this could be a question of morals or ethical dilemmas in your life. 
but is the journey to the truth. So I think there'd still be hurdles to get over if you were to get to back with this person, because I think they got issues too. They got this, they got this like defensive attitude. Um, and that's hard. That's hard to communicate with somebody that, you know, just wants to be in the relationship for being in the relationship. I mean, the devil could be just, you know, attachments to, um, you know, your physical relationship. Okay, I got to watch what I say here on YouTube these days um, as far as using certain words. So that could be going on here as well. Um, final outcome is the Four of Cups. So there will be an offer from this person coming in. Are you open to receive it? Hmm. I don't know. Um, you need to use your intuition, which I see that you're going to be doing, Libra. There's also a sense of feeling unmotivated, like it's a half-assed, you know, let's get back together, babe. Or they're just, you know, they're just, they're not showing the love. They're just showing, they're just in a weird space. And that's not going to win your heart, you know. Um, but this is an indication that, you know, it's time to move forward, even though you're disappointed in a person or a situation. Um, yeah, you're going to have to do something here. You're, you're, you might be in a state where, um, and both of you could be stubborn about your issues or not being able to communicate because of this devil energy, just this dysfunctional relationship in general. Let's do some clarifying. We need to check this out a little deeper here for you, Libra. All right. Um, wow. Looks like there's some soulmate energy here, though. At one point, at one time. Six of Wands. Okay, so now you have three sixes. Six of Wands, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. So sixes are about trying to find harmony. Um dealing with maybe self self sacrifice maybe you feel like you've sacrificed a lot in your relationship if this is coming back around again um, you're questioning the loyalty uh, the responsibility of the relationship six of swords six of swords moving away from difficulty focused on your future it's like you're going to be really balanced here libra i mean i feel like you're like oh hell to the no you know, you're just like in this really great space. Queen of Cups is a very sensual card. This is the good wife, the good mother. Um, this is somebody that's fair and honest, and she connects deeply with her intuition. Um, all right, let's get a little bit more insight here. What is going on with this relationship? Where is this relationship going to go moving into... August. What is the potential here? Why is the Four of Cups here? The Libra. Give me some insight, please. What's what's Libra going to do here? Page of Wands. Another page. So now you have two pages. Very youthful energy. This is about um, you know a new beginning. Pages are puzzle pieces that kind of help everything come together. But it's a fiery energy. Um, and it's like, you still need to take your dreams um, and get grounded still so you can move your life, implement your life into a physical form. Um, it's about a new journey. You want a new journey. I don't, hmm, I don't see. Well, let's see. Why is the Page of Wands here? It's like, you want to walk down this brand new path, but do you want to be with this person? Because the Page of Wands is a very creative new beginning. I feel like you want to do um, something that you're really passionate about, an idea. You want to manifest a goal. Um, you don't want to deal with um, Seven of Coins. Yeah, I think you're going to see how things play out with this person. Um, hmm. It's like you planted the seeds. Now you're going to see how things play out. Hmm. Um... It's like you don't really want to put a lot of effort in either. Okay. Why is it seven of coins here? One more card for Libra. Where they're moving into in August here. Four of coins. That's interesting. This is being focused on your future, your finances, um, building your own legacy. This person could have a lot of money. Okay. And that could be the problem. Like you don't want to be attached 
or stay with this person for egoic reasons. And this is the dilemma here. It's like you want to build your own empire, Libra. You know, this is managing your money well, investing in real estate. Maybe some of you will buy your own home. Okay, you're planting seeds here. You want to see how your creative new beginning is going to start. It's like emotionally, you're just like done. You're just, you're, you're busy moving forward with your career, your life. Wow, that's just coming through loud and clear. Okay, um, all right, if, uh, fire sign. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Hmm. What, what um, Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here as far as what kind of relationship will this be? Right, we need to see. Is it, is, is it going to be moving forward? Or are they getting back together with this person? Ooh, the moon. Not all is known. See, when the moon pops up, baby, let me tell you. Um, spirit's not ready to say death and transformation underneath. Yeah, I think a relationship is over. You're going to have to see how things play out. On one hand, I think you want to see, you want to put the effort in <clears throat> um, to make things better. So when is the full moon in July? Um, okay, we have the solar eclipse on the 5th. Well, depending where you are, July 4th, it's it's um, will be on the, the west coast of the United States. On the 5th, we'll be on the east coast. Um, wow, there's some, you got a lot to think about here. You got death and transformation, you moving on. Not all is known. You may not know where you're going, but you're going to trust your instincts. Stay and be this queen of cups, okay? I love this energy fit for you. I think you're done. I think you're really trying to, I, I know this is a who's your future partner reading, but sometimes I have to go with what spirit says. You know what I mean? Like sometimes people get mad. They're like, well, who's my future partner? And I'm like, well... Sometimes they read, they come through as love readings, and that's why I say subscribe because somebody needs to hear this, all right? When you focus on your future, you're juggling money, you're, you're standing on the precipice of your future. So I think you're going to remain open minded. I think you're going to kind of keep this on the back burner with this person if they're coming back around. Now, this could just be somebody that's super defensive and pessimistic in general and you're like oh hell no been there done that okay I don't care how much money you have I'm not into that so this could be somebody new I mean I'll put it to you that way as well um, and seven of wands All right, show me who this person is give me a little bit more insight on the seven of wands mm, magician Okay, so that is Mercury energy. Okay, so this could be air energy, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, ruled by Mercury. Hmm. This is someone that's maybe independent, entrepreneurial in their in their spirit. Um, hmm. Six of Wands, they've had some milestones and great success in their life. Obviously, if they're the Ten of pentacles because they got the coins you know um and it's almost as if yeah the fool now we got some neptune energy here as well we got a lot of piscean energy water energy this is somebody that wants a new beginning they want to move forward with you um they're they're showing you um you know what they can give you and i think that might be impressive to you as well with the ten of pentacles here could make life very easy for you financially speaking but is there really love well I get the six of cups there's some kind of soulmate energy here but I think that you'd be feeling trapped okay and that's the very energy of the the devil feeling trapped okay feeling like you can't get out of this relationship I think it's run its course I'll be really honest with you eight of swords is um, somebody that's blindfolded Right, I feel this is you perhaps trying to struggle with making some decision to move forward, feeling like uh, you can't, like it's self-sabotage. Don't self-sabotage yourself because that's all about what the devil is here, Libra. Follow your heart. Be this queen of cups because you can very easily unswaddle yourself and walk through these swords and take down these 
things that bind you with this person, all right? So, wow, let's pull your romance. Angel card. This was interesting, Libra. Very interesting reading. Um, all right, let's see. What is the romance angel card for Libra for the month of July? This wanted to come out. Unrequited love. Wow. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There you go. Okay, I think we nailed it. Um, so, yeah, that that's the skinny there for you, Libra. There's just something not right with the relationship. Uh, it can be just a, a physical attraction. It could just be <coughs> um, a marriage or a relationship of convenience. Um Honeymoon, enjoy your holiday bliss time together. <laughs> We're going to skip on that one. <laughs> um, well, because, you know, <clears throat> it's interesting. For those of you that have maybe been in a relationship with this person prior to, there there was some soulmate energy here. So <clears throat> sometimes we grow out of our soulmates. We're with certain people for a certain amount of time because we need to learn something about ourselves. So there's not enough attraction here. Um, this might be all you need to hear that, um, it's either going to stay a relationship of convenience or you're going to move, really, really move on and do your own thing. All right, Libra. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, feel free if you want to contact me for a private reading, which I still do, uh, offer. Um, I will be on YouTube actually tomorrow, Thursday. Is that the first already? I think so. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Um, and what else? I don't know. I guess we'll see you um, in August. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.